My name is Charlotte York and I'm here in part of the competition for the 2020 scholarship. Um, I've come all the way from South Wales, just a little bit of a way, but I currently work for British Airways and I'm looking to sort of have a little bit more that I enjoy doing outside of work. I spend a lot of time in work, so when I'm outside it'd be nice to have something to do that I enjoy putting my time and energy towards, you know? That'd be really good. <laughs> okay. So I see you've come kitted out already. So have you come into this with a little bit of experience, dare I say? So I've always been the, the tomboy of the girls. You know, when I was younger, I always used to want to be on the quad bikes as opposed to the horses. And I was go-karting when I was really younger. You know, my dad's always been a massive inspiration to me. He's raced for a long, long time. He's always pushed me into what he's loved to do. And I've loved it just as much as him. I remember being five or six years old and he dropped me off to primary school in his 600 brake Evos and it'd be all roll cage harnesses, you know, in my little school dresses and stuff. But it's, it's how I've grown up. You know, it's the only way that I know. It's always been a part of my life. Um, I started racing go-karts myself, I think I was seven, possibly, six, maybe seven, you know, little tiny 50cc pink cart, and I sort of progressed up the ranks and then went on to sort of twin 200s and raced four strokes for a while, I've done a bit in two strokes. Um, in terms of cars, I've always had as much to do with my dad's cars as I can, mm -hmm. I've loved it, it's always been an aspiration of mine to get an Evo. Um, I picked up my Evo last December, Amazing. so it was my dream car and I finally got it. Um, and this sort of came along at the same time where, where racing cars was becoming a bigger part of my life as opposed to carts. It's the transition stage of just finding the extra sort of funds that you need to take the step up because it's quite a big leap. But all being well, it's, I'm enjoying it more than anything I've ever done at the moment. It's, it's absolutely amazing. Today's quite jam-packed, uh, to say the least. What has been... What, what would you take away from it the most, given that you're already quite experienced? I think no matter how experienced you think you are, you've always got to be humble about it. No matter how much you think you know and no matter how good you think you are, there is so much to learn. You know, even if you're sat next to someone that hasn't got as much experience as you, you can always learn something from them. There's never somebody that you can't take something away from. I think it's always important to realise that no matter what you've done, you can always do so much better. I think it's just a case of taking away from this. You know, no matter what the outcome is, it's been such an experience. One that, you know, people may want to have and can't for whatever reason. It's really, I feel really privileged to be here. You know, I, I love that I can be a part of something like this. So I think it's more than anything just taken away to appreciate what I've been able to be a part of, if anything. What do you think of the golfs? The golfs are awesome, to be fair. I, I've not driven a golf before, so I was very like, I'm not quite sure how they're going to go. I looked at some of the specs and they looked really, really good, but I thought, right, okay. And once you start settling down into the car on track and you start feeling how much you can push it, and then you push it to where you think the limit is, and then suddenly it's like, no, it can go more and then more and more. And every lap you go around, you sort of have a little competition in your head, right, brake later, accelerate faster, take it tighter, all that sort of stuff. They handle it so well. I mean... I'm too short for all of them, so I had a special short person's golf and I was still too short so I had that much padding behind me. But you, you make it work, don't you? It's absolutely awesome, so I'm really looking forward. I've still got another track session to go yet, so I'm really, really looking forward to, um, to getting back out there, taking my uh, constructive criticism.